lot to catch up on. There's a lot that I want to say in this video and update you on. But firstly, welcome to Sydney. Welcome to our new place. It's actually chucking it down outside right now. So I'm sorry if there's any background noise. I was really looking forward to showing you just how beautiful Sydney is and it's summertime here. So the weather generally has been nice. But of course, on the day that I want to film, it is chucking it down and windy and just grey outside. But it is currently almost seven in the morning and I'm gonna head to Pilates soon. So the life updates are gonna have to wait, but I tend to go to Pilates. That ledge clearly is not a good place to uh, put my camera. Okay, as I was saying, I don't tend to make myself breakfast before I go to Pilates just because I don't really like eating this early in the morning, but I do always make sure to drink my AG1 and AG1 have very kindly sponsored today's video. If you don't know or haven't heard of them before, they're this amazing, comprehensive, convenient nutrition supplement. There's over 70 high quality ingredients in here that support both your mental and your physical health. So you've got vitamins, minerals, you've got whole food source nutrients, all the good stuff in here and this is something that i started drinking in december actually whilst i was traveling because it's just such an easy habit to get into that then supports all your body's needs you literally just need one scoop one glass of water and then i tend to shake mine i'm not actually sure if that's how you're supposed to make it but that's how i prefer it so there we go and then we just do a little shake. Oh yeah, it's definitely worth mentioning actually that they do these great little travel packets if you're going on a shorter trip and don't wanna bring the whole pouch with you. I think the thing that people wonder the most about AG1 is how does it actually taste? Because it's obviously very green. And I was very pleasantly surprised when I first tried this. It's of course got that kind of earthy taste, but it's very drinkable in my opinion. Like I can drink this very quickly every morning with no problems. So yeah, as I said, this is a habit that I started in December when I was traveling, but even now I've stopped in Sydney and I have a bit more of a routine going. It's a habit that I've set as one of my resolutions for the new year because in the month, month and a half that I've been drinking it, I have noticed some differences and some benefits. And the three that I would say I've noticed the most is when I'm traveling, especially when I'm on planes a lot and things like that, I tend to pick up colds very easily and just, or if not a cold, I just feel kind of meh. And since drinking this, I, I haven't really felt like that. So it's been doing a great job at supporting my immune system. Also, this is maybe something I'll speak about in more detail later in the video, but I've been trying to wean myself off coffee and high amounts of caffeine during the day. But I find when taking this, that it gives me the kind of same energy and focus because you've got ingredients in here like magnesium and B vitamins, which help with that, but you don't get the big crash that you get from the caffeine in coffee, for example. And finally, this is something I spoke about back in summer, I think, so it's been a while, but I've been struggling for maybe like the past six months with breakouts especially around my chin area and sort of up here and on my jaw and obviously it might not be a direct correlation i'm sure there's other factors involved too but i have noticed in the past few months that that has significantly calmed down it is raining so heavily right now so i hope that that's not too noisy but if you are thinking of trying ag1 at giving it a go then i'll leave a link down below in my description and if you do start your order through that link and it's your first purchase then ag1 have very kindly given you guys a free one year supply of their vitamin d3 and k2 as well as five of those little travel packets that I showed you earlier. So thank you AG1 for sponsoring this video and 
I need to work out how I'm gonna get to Pilates now without getting absolutely soaked. <laughs> to maybe take you to the beach, go on a nice walk, but the weather has had other ideas. So I guess instead, maybe grab yourself a cup of tea and we'll have a catch up. I feel like I've got so much to update you all on. I'm not even sure where to start. We've been in Sydney for exactly two weeks now, actually. And originally we were just planning on coming here for three months and it just being another slow travel location, a bit like Berlin because we were there for three months as well. But it's been a bit different in the sense that within three or four days of being here, I had absolutely fallen in love with the city and already knew that three months was not gonna be enough time and I was gonna wanna stay for longer. So that is now our plan. We are planning on staying for, I think, hopefully at least a year. It basically depends on whether or not I can find a job here which is a whole nother topic. I've come to the kind of hard realization in the last few months that doing social media content creation as a full-time thing is just not for me. I really enjoyed it as a part-time kind of hobby when I was a student. And because of that, assumed that I was gonna enjoy it full time as well. So went straight into it after graduating. I didn't even really give myself that much time to think about whether or not it was going to be right for me. I just assumed I've been doing this for six years. This is my thing. This is what I'm gonna do from this moment forward. And I've been doing it for the last six months now and have just gradually realized that actually this isn't the best thing for me full time. And ideally I would actually like to take it back to that part-time hobby and focus on something else full time, just that dynamic personally works a lot better for me, I've realized. So <laughs> I am looking for jobs at the moment to fill that full time focus. And originally I was just gonna kind of move back to the UK, probably move back to London in April time and look for jobs there. But since I have fallen in love with Sydney, I'm trying to look for jobs here instead. But it's quite an ambitious task because I'm on a working holiday visa and the kind of jobs that I'm looking at, which are predominantly marketing or influencer marketing roles, the corporate companies that are hiring for those roles don't really tend to hire people on a working holiday visa because there's certain restrictions with the visa, like the fact that you can only work for one employer for six months. You can extend it, but essentially there's lots of paperwork involved. So most employers just don't bother. That's why most people that come to Australia on a working holiday visa will do hospitality work or retail work because they're often temporary contracts or just a bit more casual. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna get a job here that is perfect for my career path in a way. I would love to be able to, I guess, start 
a career in marketing or influencer marketing and you know get into that side of the industry basically I would like to be able to transition from the creator side of it that I'm currently in to the more like businessy side of it I think it'll be a great crossover between my experience as a content creator and a business degree it's kind of like the perfect intersection for example I've always said to my manager at 16th like I would love your job <laughs> I would love to manage other creators so that's what I'm sort of aiming for at the moment I haven't got very far with it so we're gonna have to see but worst case scenario you know I'll just treat this like a gap year and get any job I can really and just take content creation back to being a fun hobby on a slightly less serious note I guess I thought I'd give you a quick tour of our apartment. I haven't cleaned. I've just thought that. I haven't done a proper deep clean since we moved in two weeks ago. So it could definitely do with a hoover. It could definitely do with a bit of a wipe down. But it just makes it more realistic, doesn't it? Okay, so when you walk in, we've got a shoe rack, bean bag. We've got this nice little shelving unit. This is a very lived in flat like the people that own it have definitely lived here for a while because these books and this stuff here isn't ours that stuff there is ours and the sun cream and stuff is ours but all of the prints and the decorations on the whole aren't then around here we've got the sofa and a little table here and a coffee table we've got a nice big tv and a little tv unit we've got my socks drying from earlier and this is our dining room table slash co-working desk it's the only desk in this apartment so we're often both sat here <laughs> we've got a big cupboard here for storage the water tank is also in here the hot water tank and then round here is our little kitchen despite the size of this kitchen we've got everything that we need this is actually a decent sized fridge like it's bigger than it seems from the outside and we've got a microwave oven and then a little hob here and then through here is the bedroom we've got a lovely full-size mirror the bed it's very simple but does the job we're due to do some laundry so please excuse that but we've also got a great big wardrobe this even fits our two suitcases in the top there and then through this sliding door which is a bit odd but i'm guessing it's to save space here we've got an ensuite so toilet shelving unit this also has storage in it as well which is very convenient shower the sink and that is it that is our apartment i love this place even though it's not huge like compared to our apartments in berlin and montreal i think the square footage is quite a bit lower it feels very homely and cozy and I much prefer the vibe of this for example to the super high ceiling concrete vibe of the one in Montreal like this one just feels yeah just cozy and just a nice space to be in I don't know if I'm just getting old but I'm so excited I'm currently making lunch I've made my go-to kind of Greek salad I put rocket in it cucumbers tomatoes olives sun-dried tomatoes actually in this one chickpeas feta I think that's everything but I'm very excited because I get to use my new olive oil and balsamic vinegar over the weekend, I went on a day trip to Hunter Valley, which is this famous wine region near Sydney. And I went on a little tour with the Sydney Working Holiday Girls like Facebook group. I didn't know anyone on it apart from one other girl, but it was a great day. <laughs> Long story short, we went to this place on the tour that sold this amazing olive oil and balsamic vinegar and cheese. I also bought a block of cheese, but it's caramelized balsamic vinegar 
and garlic olive oil. I didn't try them together to be fair, I only tried them separately, but I'm assuming because they're both nice, they'll go well together, but we'll give it a go. lunch sweet treat <laughs> we're both obsessed with lamingtons i don't think we have these in the uk but yeah i mean it describes them here they're like little bits of cake with chocolate and coconut around it very nice Good evening. I am still on the sofa. Haven't moved all afternoon, which is why I haven't filmed any fun montages because I've literally just been sat here doing a few job applications. I edited a few TikToks and I've also been emailing a few recruitment agencies because I saw a TikTok that was made by a girl who got a marketing job in Sydney on a working holiday visa and she got sponsored by the company, which basically means that they pay for you to stay on a longer basis, I think, so you can continue working in the same job. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And yeah, she was saying that she went through a recruitment agency and she'd really recommend doing that. So I thought, may as well give it a go, may as well see if they respond to me, what they say about my situation. Sid is out this evening though, and as nice as it is having these like chill days where I'm just journaling, you know, working out what I want to do with my life. It's the evenings that always get to me, especially when I'm on my own and I'm obviously in a new country, literally on the other side of the world and I don't really have anyone here that I can just be like, come over. You know, like I'm not at that stage of friendships yet, if you know what I mean. I've only been here for two weeks. I do actually have one of my housemates here in Sydney as well, but she's got jobs now. She was literally around last night as well. So yeah, it's these sort of evenings that I'm like, I really get in my own head and I really overthink everything. And that's the thing with travel and relocating and living abroad. It's obviously an amazing experience and you do meet so many incredible people, but at the same time, it can feel very isolating sometimes and I think that's why now I'm quite keen to just stay in one place for a while and really establish you know proper friendships again because when we were in Berlin for three months and then Canada for a month it's not really long enough to make those like deeper connections or as soon as you do you then leave again and have to start the process all over again. So I've been trying to distract myself by watching Fool Me Once, I think that's what it's called on Netflix. Honestly, the acting makes it really hard to watch, but it's just something to put on. And I've also been reading my book. I'm on book five of the A Court of Thorn and Roses series. And I keep like procrastinating reading it just because I don't want it to end. I'm gonna be so emotional when it ends. I've literally binged all five books in the space of, I want to say less than two months. By the time I finished this, I think it would have been exactly two months and they're big books. So that just shows how addictive these stories are. And I didn't think I'd really like fantasy, but I'm absolutely loving it. I am so invested and it's the kind of book that I just find myself thinking about during the day. But anyway, I am gonna head to bed now, so I'll end this video here. I'm sorry that it hasn't been that interesting in the sense that I haven't really been able to show you any of Sydney in this video. I do definitely intend on doing that and starting the vlogs back up again as soon as I get into more of a consistent routine here. It's just days like today where the weather's rubbish and I'm just spending most of it on the sofa trying to sort my life out. It's not the best thing for me to vlog but it's been lovely to have a catch up so 
I hope that you still enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have and also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok because regardless of how infrequently I'm posting on YouTube at the moment, I am always more active on those platforms and I will see you in the next video. Bye!